How to be smart with money. In today's video we will explore four strategies for being smart with money and how you can change your relationship money to live in a way that allows you more confidence, contentment and happiness. Number 1. Mindfulness and Gratitude. Money isn't everything. As prolific Notorious said, more money, more problems. Hence, it can be easy to fall for the illusion that financial issues are caused by lack of sufficient money, and that having more money is a simple solution or cure-all. But that just isn't the case. The solution is to manage the resources, money, time, food, available, and use them smartly to fulfill needs or achieve set goals. If you happen to improve your financial flexibility, you will be able to scale wisely. It's a process. And, no worries, it does not mean skipping fun spending. It means figuring out when spending is spending wasted. Practice gratitude. One of the most powerful tools to feeling more content across your life, including with your financial well-being, is practicing gratitude. Research demonstrates the positive impact of gratitude, including improving productivity, regulating emotions, or making better decisions. And gratitude can be good for financial habits and well-being. Studies suggest that gratitude can improve happiness and that gratitude and patience can lead us to better monetary decision-making. Practicing these values can better prepare you to recognize what you do have and focus on longer-term financial goals. Number 2. Track and understand your spending. To make better financial decisions, try to understand what's going on with your own spending. This means committing to monitor how much money goes out. Yes, it can be a bit of a pain at first, but there are several habits that can help. Start with a budget. Setting a budget might be the least fun part of tracking your spending, but it is necessary. Start by taking note of how much money you have coming in and break it down into monthly or weekly chunks. Track every single spending. Next, list categories of expenses. If you are budgeting for your business, follow the same pattern, but take additional considerations. Allocate a budget within each category and make sure you leave some room for unexpected costs. You will get better over the course of the months as you understand how, when, and where you spend your money. Monitor as you go. Every time you make a payment, make a note. Furthermore, don't track for the sake of tracking, draw the right conclusions. Tip, once you have tacked your spending for three to six months and know what's going on, it will be very beneficial. Number 3. Avoid common mistakes. There are plenty of easily made financial mistakes that you may be unaware of. The following are a few tips to get ahead of these common gaffes. Identify spending triggers. A spending trigger is a typically subconscious emotion that motivates spending money. Lists of emotional spending triggers include very human experiences, such as getting a high or rush of excitement, wanting to present a particular image, craving immediate gratification or tying the purchase to self-worth and more. Evaluate your recent purchases, particularly ones that don't meet a basic need, and reflect on whether these might be tied to an emotional trigger. Automate savings. Designate a certain amount of your income every week or month to go directly into a savings account. Even if it's not much, every bit contributes. Denormalize debt. Recognize that accumulating debt is not a requisite pathway to success or happiness. You may decide that accumulating debt as an investment for business or education is worthwhile, but debt is not just an avenue to buy things you cannot actually afford. Focus on yourself, your budget, your priorities and this will help you understand what is and is not really within your financial reach. Consumer debt is bad debt. Pay for things outright. Set goals. The benefits of setting goals include helping you to stay focused and motivated in the long term and helping you stay accountable along the way. What matters is that you try setting financial goals that refer to your own life, social environment and abilities. You may want to save up money for a trip worldwide, educational training, or that luxury item of your dreams. Number 4. Learn the basics. What is one of the best ways to make something less scary? Understand how it works. Financial literacy, the knowledge and education to understand and apply financial concepts related to money, investments and borrowing, is declining. 
With so many resources available to learn about finance, there is the opportunity to flip this trend on its head. Strengthening your understanding of personal finance can help you to be successful in other ventures, including building up a side hustle or business. We also have six additional tips you can use to be smart with your money. Tip number one. From credit to debit, even with an understanding of how credit and interest work, it can sometimes be simpler or more secure to use debit or cash rather than swiping a credit card. This is especially true for smaller purchases. Tip number two. Diversify, diversifying your income, such as launching a side hustle or investing in the stock market, can help you prepare for an unexpected financial event. Even if you are building your savings, if your primary source of income is disrupted, having some secondary streams of money can be very helpful. Tip number three. Wait it out, set and stick to a rule that when you are tempted to buy something, online or in person, wait a full two days. At the end of two days, if your desire to make the purchase is still as strong as it was before, then go ahead. But you might find that the interest has faded. If this is the case, then pass on the purchase and move along. Tip number four. Get thrifty, saving money doesn't have to be a drag. You can get creative with reuse and saving, align saving money with other values such as sustainability, or have fun with the hunt for a great deal. Tip number five. Cut back where you can, little purchases add up to large costs. Conversely, every avoided unnecessary expense will add up to big savings. Don't deny yourself every pleasure, but rather save things as treats. Tip number six. Go beyond the basics. When you're prepared with the basic knowledge and the right attitude around money, there are so many exciting advances happening in the world of finance. Learning how to be smart with money is possible. Once you reflect on your relationship with money and your habits, you will be equipped to understand further finance and how to avoid falling into common traps. Normalize talking and learning about finance. This can take some of the associations of the unnerving or stressful elements away. Also, remember that money really does not buy happiness. However, shifting the way you relate to and use money can be one part of building a happier life today. What will be your first step? Mention in comments below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.